when leaders don't stick to the rules, that's when voters start to lose confidence in them. So you're, you sold your council, tax, your council house and you made a £48,000 profit, but you paid no capital gains tax on it. And you are allowed to do that if it is your only or main home. But, and you say that is where you were registered on the electoral roll. Is that the case? Well, as I've set out, it was my home. It's where I paid my rent. It's where I was on the electoral roll. It was my principal residency. You know, sometimes I spent time at my husband's house, of course, because he had the children a couple of days a week. So, you know, my living arrangements at the time were perfectly normal and okay. transparent. Right. And okay. I've done nothing okay. wrong in regards to that. So yeah. I don't except, really feel sorry, like I Angela have to Randa, go except... through every fine minutiae of my life at that time. But I'm very clear that I've done nothing wrong. No, but the trouble is that HMRC is entitled to go through the financial minutiae and the, and the living HMRC arrangements. HMRC are, and yes. I would welcome them to do that. Yeah, but in the, because it might feel intrusive for journalists to be asking these questions. But the fact of the matter is married couples can only only have one permanent home between them. And that's where this question arises. And those tax questions are intrusive when it comes to living arrangements. And the allegation is that you lived at your husband's home and that you were perhaps registered on the electoral roll there. Are you saying that absolutely wasn't the case? Absolutely. So you have absolutely... I mean, then... I've answered all of the questions, Susanna. I've been very clear. 